Will he be able to get to the apron? He does. Can he stay out of the line as the racing continues? Austin Dillon up oh, oh, they shifted oh, him out. That's going to be a big and one. now around goes the three in front of the pack. They're all collected. The 11 with damage, the 22 as well. Big right here. Smoke rolling out of the cars that even cleared this incident. They shuffled out the 11 of Denny Hamlin, and then while trying to regroup, the three of Austin Dillon gets around. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in the 17, major damage. A lot of good cars in this wreck. Chris Buescher in the 37, also the 18 of Kyle Busch. Anytime you see a guy get turned around, entering a corner, he's going up across the track. It's going to take a lot of guys with it. That's just the, one of the worst places, if not the worst place, to get turned. And we, it's the blocking. It's the blocking we've talked about all weekend. And I think that a lot of guys might have Brad Keselowski's mental attitude about it. I'm not allowing it. I'm not putting up with it. We saw it already today with Kurt Busch, Ricky Stenhouse. We just saw Clint Boyer climb out of his car. Ryan Blaney climbed out of his car. Guys, the racing was intense, but it all started right here. The Chevy, the three of Austin Dillon changed lanes. He tries to make a move on the Toyota, loses momentum, blocks the 14. Now he's helping a Ford. I think he panics. What does he do? He goes back to the bottom, or does he block the 14? The 14 makes a move with three blocks. You said it time and time again, blocking causes accidents. This is an accident at the front of the field. But he moves to go inside, and that upset the three a little bit. Got the three a little bit loose. But the three headed on down the track to try to block anyways, to try to get down there and protect that line, protect that lead. Let's look, let's go back and look at that first view because I think that, watch this first view. So right here, he makes the move as he said. Here comes the 14 of Boyer. Good side draft on the 11. Here comes the 14 of Boyer. Now we got a great shot. Boyer gets into the back of him. He goes to turn left just a little bit. And when he did, he drug the three with him. The three's on the bottom of the racetrack. You know, yeah. I don't know that that was a block. It I think wasn't. the three got there. He didn't mean to get there. It's no. just a little bit of contact. When the when Clint goes across the back bumper of that three, it turned the three sideways. It yeah. upset the back of that three car. And then at that moment, Austin's trying to just catch his car. He's steering the race car, trying to steer the back of the race car. It drives, starts driving like a forklift at that moment. And then he's down the racetrack, trying to get down into turn one. Kurt Busch squirts out of this without an issue. William Byron, Jimmy Johnson, and Ty Dillon all able to negotiate and get through. And so they're the top four right now after this melee happens behind them. Look at the 13. There's Ty Dillon, and he's able to negotiate through all of this virtually unscathed. And now he's running fourth. Look at that three cars coming back across the track. And it's nowhere for anybody to go.